Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SUV News Break for Wednesday, December 3rd. During a rainy day ribbon cutting Wednesday, 114 more acres were added to Santa Clarita's Open Space Preservation District. The Preservation District aims to protect the wildlife corridor, safeguarding endangered wildlife and, al and allowing residents to explore and hike new areas. The Taylor Open Space is just north of Towsley Canyon. The, de the dedication brings the city's open space acreage to 8,448. A draft report of an Einstein Academy audit cites missing board meeting minutes and significant deficiencies in financial controls. Albert Einstein Academy operates a K-6 charter school in Newhall, which is chartered by the Acton Aguadulce Unified School District and a high school in Valencia, which is chartered through the William S. Hart Union High School District. The financial review was requested by the county's Office of Education after alleged indications of fraud were presented to the county superintendent. The audit was conducted by an independent team of financial and management experts. The report currently under review and not yet published notes there is not sufficient evidence to demonstrate fraud, but the lack of internal controls increased the probability of fraud and or abuse. The charter school's officials said Wednesday the formal report has not yet been submitted to the school. A public hearing is scheduled on Thursday in Acton, where a new charter petition for the school will be reviewed by the Acton Aguadulce Unified School District. The Placerita Nature Center is undergoing a major renovation both inside and out. This week, new interactive exhibits are being installed in the new interpretive center. The exhibits were fabricated by Group Delphi at its headquarters in Alameda and then shipped to the park where they're being reassembled and installed. Hands-on and using different stimulating factors, I mean, sounds of bird sounds, uh, stream bed sounds. Outside construction is already complete. The observation deck has been retrofitted to include a new mammal cage, aquarium, and viewing scopes. A new flight cage has been added along three enlarged outdoor bird habitats that have been retrofitted with improved drainage systems. The Placerita Canyon State Park is operated by the County of Los Angeles Department of Parks and Recreation. Funding for the nearly $1.5 million renovation was provided by a Prop 84 grant in the L.A. County 5th District Office. Construction is slated to be complete before the end of the month. A grand opening event is expected to be scheduled sometime in January. Santa and Mrs. Claus are helping raise much-needed funds for Santa Clarita Charities. This year, the Domestic Violence Center will benefit from the annual Rent a Santa fundraiser. Rent a Santa not only provides Santas and the Misses, elves can also attend Christmas parties and community and business events as well. More than 20 people have already signed up to have Santa Claus and his family at their holiday event. To rent a Santa, tax-deductible prices are $100 for one hour, $150 for two hours, and if you want Santa for long, it's $100 for every hour after that. For more information, contact Barbara Cochran at 661-251-1352. More rain continued to fall in Santa Clarita Wednesday when temperatures reached into the low 60s. Light drizzle added up to about a third of an inch in the SCV. That rain is expected to clear out overnight. Partly cloudy skies are in the forecast Thursday with highs in the mid-60s Thursday and Friday. Daytime highs are likely to top out in the upper 60s over the weekend. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.